Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. It's time for another check-in. Um, actually, I think I finalized my schedule for once. Um, <laughs> as you've seen over the last uh, week or so, uh, hopefully the quality has gone up a bit. I've got a steady release time set now, and that means that videos are releasing at 1 p.m. hopefully every weekday. Um, that should mean that they're coming out at 1080p full and you're not having to wait on the resolution to change. So hopefully that will... Uh, smooth things over that have caused problems in the past. Also, maybe this check-in video finally has the audio synced. I know it's been a huge issue in the past where it's always out of step with my mouth moving, and that is because if you record with any kind of recording software, I've tried several different kinds, I'm actually going with OBS at the moment, um, you have to set up the audio to run offset with the video to account for the hardware lag with a USB microphone. <laughs> so I have tested it several times and hopefully the the synchronization will stick through the YouTube processing. Maybe it'll work. I'm not promising. I might get back and it's even worse once I actually look at the end result of this video uploading. Anywho, um, my plan from here on out is Monday to do a cast with Orbital Potato gameplay, whatever it happens to be. Um, Tuesday to do normal subcom cast. Then Wednesday is a check-in video, let you in on what's going on in my life. Thursday, regular cast. Friday, game review. Saturday, live cast. So that is six things a week that I am hoping to do from here on out. I am not going to swear up and down that all six of them will make it in, but you'll definitely be getting three subcon videos, and the rest of it is a good goal. So maybe we'll get there, maybe we won't. I really think that we will. As far as what's going on right now, um, trying to record things, settling on a format for the game reviews, um, those seem to be doing better than anything else that I've tried in the past, and I'm having a lot of fun reaching out into different games. The one that is coming up for this Friday is kind of an indie game, but it's a pretty good one. I'm very, very happy with it, and hopefully you guys will enjoy the little video that I do on it. It is kind of interesting going through the formatting problems, though, because there's there's advantages and disadvantages to every way to record a video, and um, one comment that was made on one of them was that reducing a video to a review, boiling down all the elements, takes all the personality out of it. And I'm trying to keep that in there, but I'm running into issues where if I have live gameplay, um, I have to think about the game and also what I'm saying, so my words get convoluted. And I don't want things to go on too long, because nobody likes an incredibly lengthy video game review, except for Total Biscuit Watchers, for some reason. <laughs> um, but anyway, so it's it's kind of an interesting give and take, figuring out exactly what to put in, exactly what to take away, and I think I'm going to end up actually pre-recording gameplay from here on out, and recording audio over it, so that I can snip things in and out here and there, where I take a tumbly turn with the vocabulary, or with what my brain thinks my tongue is doing at the moment. So, yeah, I would be interested to hear what you guys think about Friday's game review because it, it has been an interesting one to do, to say the least. Maybe I should say tough. I don't know. I had to re-record it several times, and I think I, I... I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. Anywho, other things that I've discovered during the week. I read an interesting article on voices, which a lot of people don't necessarily think about their speaking voice. It's weird hearing yourself on a video. I don't know if everyone has heard themselves yet, but if you haven't, I would encourage you to record yourself talking, preferably with video attached so you can see your mannerisms and then watch it. Usually it is cringe inducing and um, it's, it, it, it's a unique exercise trying to adjust your speech patterns while listening to yourself because your own voice sounds foreign and um I, I discovered something this week. It was actually pretty interesting. Um, I'd watched videos in the past, and this is strictly an analysis of personal habits. These are rambly videos, so you know where this kind of thing leads. Um, I had noticed recently that things had not been sounding right as far as the audio went. And I realized that the way I have been sitting since I came to this new house is different than the way that I used to sit in my apartment. And um, 
basically it boils down to clenching your abs, which changes your voice quality. And that's the weirdest thing once I hit that realization of to where if you consciously relax your stomach, it actually changes how your voice sounds. So now I'm going to be having to think about that when, um, when I'm doing cast. It's just one of those things that you run into that you don't think about when you're doing something like this. I, I've run into a million of them, but it's kind of fun sharing things. It's like, this is something that you don't think about every day. So here's an interesting tidbit, something that you should try to do while you're speaking. You know, if, if you want to change the quality and manner of your delivery, you should try relaxing different muscle groups. Who would have thunk it? Anyway, just one of those little things that goes on. What else is there to rambly about? I don't think there's that much. There's not a ton new this week. Um, pretty much moving on with the same kind of thing. I am still trying to get up the cast, the live cast from Sunday. Um, as people who tuned into that Twitch feed know, uh, I experienced the pretty much the most severe technical difficulties that you can experience during a live cast. Basically, a tree went down 100 yards from my house, and it took down the power lines, and it took down the internet, and so the cast was already running for two hours before I even made it into it, which the tournament ended up being six freaking hours, which was ridiculous. But anyway, um, that that is an entire other point. But I did manage to get into that. I'm trying to get those videos up and segmented on YouTube, but there is a problem with the quality of the Twitch transfer. But anyway... Those should potentially go up. For those of you who watched the live cast, I hope you had an awesome time in it, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, possibly even in this video, just in case the other ones are a little bit coming. And then um, I'm looking forward to potentially casting more tournaments coming up. Um, just it, it really depends on the feedback, where to go. I had a lot of fun. I'll probably do them regardless, but it is good incentive. If you guys are thoroughly enjoying um, that kind of thing, it I, I want to deliver stuff that y'all want to watch is basically what it boils down to. So let me know if you'd like to see more live streaming. If you'd like to see different types of things, just shout out, give me feedback. That's the only way I know what you're thinking. Um, one other thing that I was going to talk about, which I really don't talk about at all much, um, is the Patreon link at the bottom. I figured I would throw that into this video. Um, I've, done a fair bit of thinking over the last little bit and one of the things that I am going to start doing is I'm actually for the first time putting up my own donations to other creators on Patreon and here's my reasoning for that. I am consuming nearly 100% of their content on a regular basis and they're doing this for a living. Um, so they're not doing... Um, they're not doing like pay-per-view stuff. If you have ad blocker and stuff, you're not supporting them with ad revenue. Uh, a lot of people don't realize how incredibly tiny the ad revenue is that you get off of YouTube. It's basically nil. Um, most people that do it for a living either subsist off of uh, donations or off of sponsorships. There's Unless you're into the millions upon millions of views per month, you can't make a living off of ad revenue. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to start donating to other people's Patreon accounts that I watch consistently. And I'm doing, I'm going to start doing that because there have been several people recently I've heard mention, and I, I am fully on board with this point. Um, if you're, if you're consuming the content and you're not really returning anything, I mean, if it means something to you, you should return something. And I'm not saying that, you know, saying that, oh, you people should all get on board with the Patreon. I'm saying that it really hit me that I'm enjoying the content that these guys are putting out. So I'm going to try to return the favor. And I have to say for the size of the viewing community that I have, you guys have been tremendously generous, far and away above anything that anybody else has put out there. And you guys know that I don't really push... <laughs> for money or that side of thing. I'm not trying to make a living off of YouTube, but I, as I mentioned before, it pays the internet bill and it's, it's nice to see that side of the revenue come in. So if you appreciate the channel, if you are interested in helping out in any way in giving me a hand with 
my side of expenses for bringing these casts out and then you know a little compensation for all the time that i put into it if you're interested in that kind of thing there is a patreon link in the description and a paypal link if you don't do the patreon thing so that is my once every oh six months plug <laughs> for the fact that i do do fan funding actually i believe the youtube channel option is enabled as well so it's possible to go through google adsense um, to give if you do the support or the fan funding on the YouTube page. So there's actually three options now. But anyway, I was just going to throw that out there. That is there for what it's worth. And that is just about going to wrap up this video. I will see you guys next week for a check-in and tomorrow for the normal Supreme Commander cast. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.